mind. <laughs> There's only a million different things I would love to say to you. I've never had anyone in my life quite like you. And by the grace of God, I'm able to call you my family. I think we all know that sometimes family can be the craziest people to be around and express ourselves to and be our authentic selves. But with you, it's never been something I've ever had to worry about. You've seen me in my darkest, walked with me through the depths of life, and reached out to grab my hand and hold it tightly when no one else was around to save me. There are too many memories to play back, but some of my favorite will always be sitting on the dock in Garden City, strumming the guitar, and singing together. Sitting in the rocking chairs on the front porch of the Ganey house, watching summer storms roll in. Playing in the massive puddles, um, risking getting ringworms after the storms finally left. <laughs> Having you come up to Wahala on your free weekends and ride through the mountains with me and let you show me around my little town. And seeing you grow into the most beautiful woman in Christ Jesus I'll ever know. Not to mention having the pleasure of watching you fall in love with the most perfect man for you. I'll never know why the Lord saw me fit to share this life with you, but I'll never question it. Because through all of its trials and high, high points, I'd only ever want to walk through it with you. As one of my very best friends. Thank you for loving me, for showing me compassion, kindness, and the joy of the Lord. And most of all, for allowing me to stand beside you in one of the most important days of your life. You will be the most beautiful bride, wife, and mother. I am thrilled to see you become all of these things. I love you, and you've got my love to lean on forever, darling. That's what's up. David, <clears throat> let's face it, you've been family from the get-go. Through all the years we've gone to Garden City as a family, you've been there to share a lot of those memories with us. Just recently, I was looking through old pictures of all of us at the beach together, and I can see so many little details where the Lord carved a way for you to be here with us right here, right now. Thank you so much for loving my girl for leading her and for pursuing her the same way Jesus leads and pursues us. I think I can speak for the whole family when I say we're all so proud of the life that you have built for yourself, your work ethic, your love for your community, and your giving heart. Welcome to the family, David.
concentrate enough But I would have known What I was living for But I Tell them.